June 4th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 42 and 43 from the Old Testament. As a deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, for the living God. I say, when will I be able to go and appear in God's presence? I can I eat, I weep, day and night. All day long they say to me, where is your God? I will remember and weep. For I was once walking along with the great throng to the temple of God, shouting and giving thanks along with the crowd as we celebrated the holy festival. Why are you depressed, O my soul? Why are you upset? Wait for God, for I will again give thanks to my God for his saving intervention. I am depressed, so I will pray to you while I am trapped here in the region of the upper Jordan. From Hermon, from Mount Miser. One deep stream calls out to another at the sound of your waterfalls. All your billows and waves overwhelm me. By day the Lord decrees his loyal love, and by night he gives me a song, a prayer to the living God. I will pray to God, my high ridge, why do you ignore me? Why must I walk around mourning because my enemies oppress me? My enemies' taunts cut into me to the bone as they say to me all day long, Where is your God? Why are you depressed, O oh my soul? Why are you upset? Wait for God. For I will again give thanks to my God for his saving intervention. Vindicate me, O God. Fight for me against an ungodly nation. Deliver me from deceitful and evil men. For you are the God who shelters me. Why do you reject me? Why must I walk around mourning because my enemies oppress me? Reveal your light and your faithfulness. They will lead me. They will escort me back to your holy hill and to the place where you live. Then I will go to the altar of God, to the God who gives me ecstatic joy, so that I express my thanks to you, O God, my God, with a harp. Why are you depressed, O my soul? Why are you upset? Wait for God, for I will again give thanks to my God for his saving intervention. God, I love the first part of this psalm. Well, I love all of it, but the first part of this psalm is just captures so well how I feel, at least in our relationship at this moment. Uh, it's taken me a long time to get here where I am madly in love with you. And I just can't wait to be with you, to talk to you, to read your word. I get so excited watching you work in people. A and this is very much that, that painful feeling when you're away from somebody that you love. Uh, when, when you don't feel them next to them, they're not physically there. And you wonder when you can be together again. So I love this first part. Uh, I know that he's talking about a... A longing for you because he's physically away from the temple uh, but sometimes uh, I feel that with you as well uh, you're you're physically uh, not a person here on earth anymore and so I can't see you or touch you and so it's been interesting learning in my relationship with you how to change that you know those were senses you gave us as humans and yet I can't use those with you and I have to replace them with faith and instead of physically seeing you uh, I instead get to see and watch you work in other people's lives and I have to be intentional about watching for those things sometimes you're really obvious but other times it's more like an underlying current and I have to replace my desire to physically see you uh, with with those opportunities to see you in nature to see you work in people's lives uh, to see you work in my own life we're always working on my stuff <laughs> and so I love the beginning of this he truly feels like he is away from you like you would a beloved one and wanting to be back together when when will I be back in your presence and I know sometimes we also push you away it's not that you have gone far away, but we have probably sinned. That's usually the pushing away that happens. We've usually sinned and now we're in that hiding part of our life. Um, sometimes it's short, sometimes it's really long, but it's definitely a, a thought process where we think we can hide from you. And so 
we go as far away from you as possible, uh, pushing her out of our lives, sometimes even to the extent of continuing to sin, not going to church, not reading your word. Uh, and that whole depression part he talks about, uh, that can definitely happen at that point when I feel like you're so far away, even though it's me who's pushed you away and I'm kind of lost. Well, I'm not even kind of lost. I'm definitely lost without you. But I love, I love how he ends these different stanzas uh, in Psalms. Uh, Why are you depressed on my soul? Why are you upset? Wait for God, for I will again give thanks to my God for his saving intervention. And every time I have pushed you away, you have let me struggle in that space and learn what I'm doing. Uh, but you have also very intentionally made it clear how to get back to you. And every time that intervention has happened, that saving grace where suddenly the path back to you seems to light up brighter than usual. And and I can find my way back to you um, by reading your word, by spending time with you, by uh, being transparent in my relationships I have where I'm being held accountable for my actions. God, I just love you so much. And there are many times, as you know, because we've had this conversation many times where I wish you were physically here right next to me and, and we could talk about things and I could walk in the garden at, at um, sunset with you. But I realize that right now that's not a possibility. But someday, maybe soon, maybe in the future, I'll get to do that. And that will be absolutely amazing. In the meantime, God help keep me faithful help keep me and my attention focused on our relationship on that amazing love that i have for you the powerful love that you have for me and and don't let me mess it up (laughs) keep me safe from from harm keep me safe from temptation Um, i know you promised to always show me a way out and when i sin again because i will Light up that path for me again, please, so I can find my way back to you. So my morning turns into joy, ecstatic joy. I love you very much. In your son's name I pray, amen.